Okay, so this is um, setting up the DAC 970A using the BenchView software. Uh, the software itself comes on a CD-ROM uh, that arrives with the instrument. It is also available for download from the Keysight website. And it takes a little while to boot up. So once it boots up, you've got your... Uh, this is the updated latest version as well, I believe. Um, you've got some uh, interface guides there. And you have the main screen here. So what you actually get on the CD-ROM is the bench view application itself, which is this one here. And this allows you to set up a set of um, test instructions, if you like. Um, but as you can see, there is no instruments loaded. So as it stands at this moment in time, you can get some blocks out. Um, but you can't do an awful lot because you've got no instrument to actually put these functions to. So in order to get some instruments in there, we have these applications. And this is extra software you have to download. And this is what you actually have to buy. Uh, and there's various options for buying it um, from uh, uh, perpetual licenses that can be transferred between machines, uh, perpetual licenses that are applied to one PC, to time limited licenses um, with to, uh, to various different costs. And you can see I've got BenchView loaded um, and you can get a 30 day trial for any of these. But you can see all of these, the applications that you can have here for different key site instruments. Uh, and this is quite a change. I had the original BenchView software from many years ago and I could just load up the relevant drivers um, virtually free of charge. So now it's a, a paid system. So the other thing that I found, if you go to DAC, so what I actually found out is that you can't really run this software unless the instrument is switched on. So before with other systems I can actually run the software in an offline mode, create whatever files I want to uh, for the, the data structure and then connect to the instrument, download that uh, and away you go. But this one you appear to have to have the actual instrument up and running and connected in. So turn the instrument on and hopefully when it's booted up I should be able to refresh. Uh, once it's booted up, it finds it itself anyway, and I can connect to it. So we'll create a new okay, so once you the program has started up, uh, you go to configure channels, and these are the computer channels and these are the actual channels in the multiplexer card that's installed if there were more cards in there then you'd get um, another drop down for each of those cards to add whichever channels you want in you select it you can give it its name which we'll go through this is a thermocouple type so I'll go through setting this up the same as I did on the actual DAC itself for monitoring the amplifier, the current amplifier. So it literally is just as easy as typing in the name, which is much easier in the software than it is on the uh, on the actual DAC unit and you see for a temperature you've got no range because it's set by the type of thermocouple that you configure it to and then 106 was voltage in that's DC voltage I'll change him to uh, as well as 10 volts uh, 7 that was voltage out Beg your pardon, these need to be AC voltage, don't they? 10 volts, 10 volts, 
and this one here all right that was the output current that is ac voltage and that will be one volt won't it so i need to put some maths in for this which the scaling function is here straight in front of me unlike on the DAC where i had to go to a separate screen uh, scaling function is 10 times that's the ratio of the clamp and we can go to BBC amps AC there. So that will change it and give it a, an amps unit instead of the voltage. And then the final two for these is 116 and 117. These are frequency and F in, F out. I'm going to leave them set to those and that's those channels all set up the final one is the computed channel which is 401 um, that was the amp gain and to get the maths in I just select the function select the channel that I want which is V out divided by V in, so argument one divided by argument two. So output divided by input equals gain. No units because it's just a ratio. Okay, okay so that's the computer channel set up, uh, ready to be scanned. And that's the actual setup completed.